Hello and welcome to the two-minute series. The topic for today are again the adaptations in animals. We've discussed some adaptations in the previous video and we will be continuing with that. Now another type of adaptations that is seen in animals is mimicry. Now mimicry is different from camouflage is something that you should know. Camouflage takes place when a similarity is what is drawn with the environment. Whereas mimicry is what takes place when an another animal or another species is what is mimicked the mimic the animal that is mimicked is what is known as model and the animal that is mimicking is known as the mimic so this is one thing that you should know about mimicry next what is important here are two types of mimicry this is something that is important because this is an ncrt mention the first type of mimicry is a batesian mimicry or this this is a simple mimicry in this what happens is that the mimic is actually defenseless what happens is that if, say, for instance, a butterfly is mimicking another butterfly, so this butterfly, that number two that is being mimicked, this might be a poisonous butterfly. But the butterfly one, which is mimicking the B2, is not poisonous. So only in its external appearance is it mimicking the B2, but the defense mechanism of B2 is what has not been adapted by B1. So this is why this is known as the Batesian mimicry. This is something that is important. The example of the monarch butterfly, which mimics the viceroy butterfly is what is classic example of Batesian mimicry. So this is one thing that you should keep in mind. Next type of mimicry is the Mullerian mimicry. In this what happens is that the mimic also shares the defense mechanism of the model. So this is what is important and this is what is dif the difference between Batesian as well as Mullerian mimicry. Next type of adaptation are some warning colorations. Now what happens is that these kind of warning colorations, these are bright colored and highly poisonous animals actually have this kind of a coloration. So sometimes this is an adaptation to protect oneself. And this is why this is known as a warning coloration. Also, even if the animal is not uh, poisonous, it might be mimicking another animal which is poisonous. It can, it can be a type of a Batesian mimicry also. So this is another type of adaptation. Next, what you need to know are the adaptations to water scarcity. Now, just like plants, animals also need to develop some aspects or some adaptations to water scarcity. Uh, to water scarcity first and foremost of these are the, adapt the adaptations in the skin texture in sometimes animals have harder skin structure harder epidermis to pr to protect them in arid regions also sometimes animals have a tendency to conserve water by preventing water losses from the body as much as it is possible for instance a kangaroo rat is what has been discussed in the ncrt in this case the kangaroo rat conserves water by excreting solid urine so this is another way to adapt also camels are known for adaptation to water scarcity so all of these examples are what you should remember you should keep them in mind next type of adaptation is the adaptation to cold now here what happens is that sometimes what happens is that the proteins in an animal's body are what are frozen as a result of as an adaptation to cold and this is what is known as cold hardening these proteins are actually antifreeze proteins and they're it's for one example of this is the glycerol so this can be a question that glycerol is a kind of an antifreeze proteins and this is the process so this is the means by which adaptation is what is done to cold so these are some important adaptations which have been mentioned in the ncrt so these are important for us and that's about today's discussion i thank you all for watching the video